I believe that in spite of what we are hearing on the news, in spite of what's happening in the economy, that God is concerned about us. Turn with me to the book of Salem, chapter 13. Sing Luke chapter 13 from verse 11 and it reads in the Amplified and there was a woman that had an infirmity for 18 years. She was bent completely forward and utterly unable to straighten herself up or to look forward. But listen to some hope tonight. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are released from your infirmity. Then he laid his hands on her and instantly she was made straight and she recognized and thank God and praise God. In the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 13 to 14, Paul says words like these, forgetting those things which are behind, and pressing forward to the things that are before. And when we talk, or when we speak about moving forward, I believe that we are talking about hope. You see, in a society that's disgruntled by the contrary winds of desolation and degradation, in a world that's scorched by the burning suns of trials and pestilence, in a community, and we all live in big communities that's been bombarded by the falling rocks of mutilated humanity, in an era where people can't seem to distinguish right from wrong. And when the church seems to be at ease in Zion, I have the news for you. There is still hope. Hallelujah. You see, hope speaks about an expectancy. It gives us the idea that something better will happen. What is hope? Hope is confidence. Hope sees beyond human possibilities and it acknowledges the facts. It does not deny reality. Hope is not satisfied with human potential. It pushes for the reality of divine promise. That's why Paul said, forget 